Scott Taylor for the Buffalo Bills. Tonight, from Ford Field in Detroit, it's a special Friday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Detroit Lions taking on the Buffalo Bills. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Ford Field tunnels, and the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with the Buffalo Bills. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and we finally made it, partner, through the winter, through the spring, now into the summer, and football finally back. And during that time off, we all cherish our vacation time, but admit it, you're the same as me. When you were working out, when you were doing things, you thought about football, didn't you? And you couldn't wait to be back up here again. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And out will come the leader of this offense. And that, of course, is their signal caller. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect. And frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him you can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him so they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33 they'll try and start this drive in the air dancing to his left he's got the connection to Cole Beasley and they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down on any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They're going to look to throw. He'll buy some time right. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. 
And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 18 more yards there and another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll look to throw. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Trey Flowers, the former Arkansas Razorback, in there to get him. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play they've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back so that complicates things a bit here 18 yards to go now on second down here's a play fake as they set up to throw and the pressure gets to him again He's the one that drops him this go around, and that pass rush getting strong here, back-to-back -back sacks. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively, and we have to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Rolling to his left. Well, he's going to go deep for Beasley. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So pass interference, the call, that's going to set him up with a first down. And if it's a bang-bang play, maybe the flag stays in the official's pocket, but instead... He definitely impeded the receiver's right to catch the football. The officials letting the players know how the game's going to be called here in the first quarter. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They'll look to throw. Well, it's a shuffle pass, and it's complete. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Finding Knox there, complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breida. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Matt Breida taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Bills have taken the early lead. Now for the point after. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Matt Breida who had the touchdown run to put an end to it. to the touchdown pass to kick it away. And 
And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. And here comes the new-look Lion offense here in 2021, led by their quarterback in his first season in Detroit after five in L.A., Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency. And that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. There's Goff. That's caught by Geronimo Allison. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. First and 10, it's Swift. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside. And if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. Second and 11. Golf. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. So, Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball. But you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Back to throw. Golf. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. He's Pro Bowl punter a year ago, Jack Fox, on to punt for the Lions. As he's on to punt for the first time tonight. No 
he'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Well, they show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got the hookup with Diggs. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. I think we already know that this guy's going to be ready when they ring the bell for week one. That play, almost routine for him, but still, nice to know that he's still got it. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll set up a throw. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. He'll drop to throw. And he's got his man here, Beasley. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense could get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up with a first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Running out of the gun here, Brita. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Matt Brita with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Bills lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. So two drives, two touchdowns here this first quarter, and he's got both of them. But he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. throw is gone that's complete to Williams out of the backfield and up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter Play fake for Swift, now gone. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. It 
Here's second and ten now from the 35. Out of the gun. Gone. And that's out to the flat for Swift. Five yards. Now it's third and five. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Again, golf. Open man is Allison complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. First down's on the drive already, as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Go off a handoff here to Swift, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now gone. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. Golf on target to Hawkinson for a line first down. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. They run out of the gun with Swift, and he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now gone. Got him in. It's Brashad Perriman. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 19. A good pick up there, 22. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, gone. Open man, the tight end fails. They'll contain him to just four, second down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, Big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You talk about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But, boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. This throw incomplete nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. 
A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They're off throwing again. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. Three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Williams. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Second and goal from the six this time. They go back to the ground, this time Swift. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Goff now looks to throw. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Geronimo Allison there to make the grab. And the Lions able to get this back with it a touchdown. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Randy Bullock. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. Kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. Back onto the field now comes the Bills' offense. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Steps away to his left. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. And he 
sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. He's going to go deep for Beasley. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now back to throw. They'll roll him out right. He hits Beasley right side. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. On fourth down, on is the former Dolphin, Matt Hawk, to punt for Buffalo. Back deep, Victor Bolden. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Play action. It's gone. He's airing it out for Williams. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Goff now to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Detroit.